Today, Tara Carver is going to help us with our technique, our self-defense technique. Tara, welcome to the show. Thank you. All right, today's attack is called a bear hug uh, because it's usually a larger person, a male person, grabbing someone from behind, a female, or a, sm a smaller person, all right? And the reason they grab like this is you can't use your arms, you don't have much uh, power, uh, you can't strike, you can't grab anything. They have complete control of you, except for your feet. And, and your legs are super strong. Legs are five times, six times stronger than arms, uh, depending on the person. All right, Tara, Tara, I want you to step to the left and push your right leg out. Push, uh, push there you go. Now, when she does this, uh, she weighs about 125 pounds. Uh, this is going to loosen my grip because she's pulled me, the center of my balance is off, so I'm going to loosen my grip. Now do a victory sign with your arms. That throws my arms up where there's just a smorgasbord of targets here. I want you to bring your elbow down to the solar plexus, reach out like you're grabbing something, and to the head. The solar plexus will knock the wind out of them so they cannot give chase, and then a strike to the head will make them bleed, blur their vision, and uh, probably drop them since it's an elbow. It's a very powerful technique. We're gonna show you this again. We're gonna walk through it one more time. All right, the attacker comes up and grabs. He thinks he has her disabled. There's nothing she can do. Remember, your legs are not being held back. She's gonna take her right leg and thrust her left leg out where I lose my balance and loosen my grip because my center of gravity has been attacked or knocked off. Now she does the victory sign here, throwing my arms up where I cannot protect myself. Then she brings an elbow down to my solar plexus, locks up my diaphragm where I can't breathe. You gotta breathe to give chase or fight. Then she comes back and strikes to the nose, blurring my vision and uh, knocking me down and also will probably cause a bloody nose. The last thing a person wants to see is their own blood when they're uh, attacking someone. All right, we're gonna do it again slowly so you can see step by step and I'll walk you through it. All right, the attacker grabs. She pushes off with her right leg, steps with her left. I loosen my grip because my, my, my center of gravity's uh, been knocked off. She does the victory sign here. She elbows me in the solar plexus, right to the center, right where the rib cage, right below where the rib cage comes together. That will take a person's win. Then she reaches out, full range motion, strikes me to the nose. Will probably set me down on my butt. Then she takes off and runs. Remember, you're not jury or judge, jury, and executioner. You need to get out of this and get away to safety. All right, again, we're gonna walk through it one more time. Then she's gonna do it a little faster and hopefully won't hurt me. All right, all right, I grab her here, go ahead and do it slowly. She steps, she throws her arms up, strikes the solar plexus, strikes to the head. We're gonna do it a couple times fast for you guys. All right, ready? Tara, you ready? Yeah. All right, go. Good. That was that was good. And thank you for not striking me. <laughs> <coughs> All right, ready? Yep. One more time. She's going to do it fast, people. Watch this. This is how it has to be done. You practice this slow at home with a family member or with a friend. But when you do it out on the street, you do it like this. Go. Very good. Over here. Bow. And that is our technique this week. Stay tuned. Remember to use your legs and body weight to knock your attacker off balance. Spread your arms to break his grasp, then make your defensive strikes to break away.